As a student or someone who is new to using Active Directory, you may have come across an issue where when you try to delete an OU, you get an error message saying that you do not have sufficient privilege to delete this particular OU or group. For example, in here under sanuja.local domain, I have created a test OU. It's called the delete test OU. And if I right click on this and hit delete, you'll get a message saying, are you sure you want to delete organizational unit? And then if I say yes, I will end up with an error message saying you do not have sufficient privilege to delete test uh, or you or this object is protected from accidental deletion. So this is somewhere that a lot of students and someone who is new to Active Directory get confused on how you can get rid of that organizational unit that you're trying to delete. So we try the method of right clicking and delete and you're gonna end up with that error message. Now to bypass that error message, what you need to do is go to the view section under here and you need to select the option called advanced features. The reason for that is if I go in here in the delete test or you and right click and go to properties and there is no place to change that privilege option because it's, that tab is currently not available. To make it appear here, what you need to do is go to the view and click advanced features. When you do that, whole bunch of other stuff will appear on your left hand column. And in addition, if you now right click on that OU that you're trying to delete and go to properties, you will see you have some few extra options available here. And one of those options is the option called the tab object. Under the object tab, you have this checkbox says protect object from accidental deletion. So if you uncheck this one and apply, now if you close this window and go back to this delete test or you or whatever the OU you are trying to delete and hit delete here, in after this message, if you say yes, it'll get deleted. So the reason why we have this protection is that it will prevent accidental deletion. So only thing you need to do is go to the view, select advanced option, sorry, advanced features, and right click on the uh, one that you want to delete and then you can uh, delete that organizational unit. Now, you can actually remove this protection from the very beginning. For example, if I go in here on the sanujar.local domain, if I right click and if I say, I want to create a new organizational unit, right here it says protect container, container from accidental deletion. So if I do a test, uh, one here, uh, an organization, and if I remove this one at the creation level, and if I say okay, now if I go here and hit delete, it will simply delete because then now that protection is not there. But when you are working with Active Directory, it is common practice when you add a new organizational unit, like right here, we keep this thing checked off because in this way that you don't accidentally, you or someone else accidentally do not delete this item uh, by mistake. So you don't want to th that to happen, especially with thousands of employees. So that's how you bypass this error. So if you get this message saying that, hey, you know, you can delete this, you don't have sufficient privilege, you simply go to the view section here, select advanced option, make sure it's all turned on, and then you go properties of that, uh, that particular unit that you want to delete, Go to objects, remove, protect object from accidental deletion, apply, click OK. And in here, just simply say delete here. Now you can delete it. So that's how you can bypass the accidental deletion options. And if you have any questions or concerns regarding any of the items that I just covered, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have a nice day.